For the past year, we've been under the radar intensely focusing on the state of our culture and our relationship with technology, social media, fake news, AI. We are too overloaded with information, too anxious, too hostile. Algorithms decide what we're fed and their only metric is how long they can hold your attention. It doesn't matter if it's true or good, just that it can distract. And the consequence of this design is that the cheap thrills always win. Statistically, vice outperforms virtue because virtue requires thought, patience, prudence. These ideals are bad for business when your business is attention. There are so many virtuous minds online whose voices get lost in this nonsense and noise. There is no home for virtue on the internet, no social sanctuary to escape to. So we've built one. It's called Vineyard, and it's an entirely new app that serves as a social media alternative to elevate the virtuous minds of our time. Not only does Vineyard offer a quiet refuge for its users, it serves as a patronage platform for its vetted creators. The laborers deserve their wage, and the more we support them, the more fruit they can produce for a culture starved of substance. Even if you can't support them monetarily, you can support them with your time, because every time you view their content on Vineyard, we rightly compensate them for it. And speaking of your time, since Vineyard is built on an optional subscription model, there are no ads or incentives for us to keep your attention. Vineyard is built for balance, not binge, and comes baked in with reminders to put your phone down and daily invitations to breathe, contemplate, and go forth into the real world. You can already join at vineyard.2. We chose this domain to emphasize the invitation to go to Vineyard rather than social media, where you can finally trust the content, its authors, and the platform itself with your time and support. In fact, we've made it a part of our mission to build everything independently from the ground up. It's more work, effort, and cost, but it's important for you to know that your support is an investment in building independent infrastructure for the church that is not beholden to big tech or lines their pockets in any way. As always, I can't thank you enough for your support and prayers, and I cannot wait to see you on Vineyard. Stay tuned and God bless.